Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my February favorites and it's going to be weird because I'm including products that I regret buying because I have quite a few to where like I really want to talk about them and a lot of them I have tried the past month, past like two months, so I figured, you know, it's appropriate. And I don't know, they've just been like, some of them are relatively new, well some of them are pretty damn new. So I don't know, I just wanted to mix in a few of these because I don't have a ton of favorites to do, so I thought that would kind of help kind of beef up this video and, I don't know, make it a little bit different, you know what I mean? So we have some favorites and then we have things that I regret buying, non-favorites. So this video is probably going to be a decently long video. Get comfy, get some PJs on because we're about to talk product. Okay, let's start... Should we start with a positive note and end on a negative note? Let's just start with the negatives because these have been things that have just been like so like every time I try to use them I'm just like ugh, mm, I need to tell people about this. So first this is really weird but well no it's not weird because I don't know. Anyways this is a deodorant. Ever since, ever since I went cruelty free I have had the hardest time finding a like a cruelty free deodorant that is like kind of easily accessible. Like I know of some that I can order but I've just been putting off ordering them because if I can find one in a store that I like I'm gonna do that. So I decided to try the Jason brand. This is the Nourishing Apricot Pure Natural Deodorant Stick and this smells so good, which I find is kind of rare for like natural deodorants because every time I like have found a like natural deodorant, it's like lavender or like mint or unscented. Like they're very, very earthy smells and I love fruity, citrusy smells. Like that is like my favorite thing. So when I smelled this, I was like, mm, yes, give it to me. But this is the most uncomfortable deodorant I have ever tried ever. You put it on and it's good for a second and then it gets super, super, super sticky to the point where, like, I don't have sensitive skin, but it was irritating my underarms. I kept having to, like, tuck my shirt under, like, in my armpits so that, like, it wouldn't rub. And it, like, spread to, like, my entire underarm area and, like, up into, like, my side boob from, like, me moving my arm. It was just horrible. Absolutely horrible. Not worth the smell. And it I don't know, it worked, I guess, because it smelled like apricot. I'm not that heavy of a sweater, but I just wanted something to make me, me smell good. But that smell was not worth the uncomfortableness. So this sucks. I hate it so much. So I just had to get that out there. The next I actually showed in my haul. These are Violet Voss lashes. And these ones are supposed to be the, like, faux mink lashes. I showed these in my haul a while ago. They're supposed to have, like, multiple layers to them. So like if you look at them from the side, you probably can't see them very well, but if you look at them from the side, there's like this and then there's like another layer underneath so that they look really fluffy and like foaming lashes. You guys know I'm a baby with fake lashes. Maybe I'm just a baby. Maybe I just need to suck it up, but these are so freaking uncomfortable. It is horrible. Like they poke so badly my inner corners and my outer corners. I know to trim them. Like I know all the tricks, but these are just so freaking uncomfortable. And like most lashes, like most thick banded lashes for me are uncomfortable, so that's not necessarily the brand's fault. But what I will say that is the brand's fault is that the two layers, okay, how do I describe this? The sticky stuff, because you guys know when you get fake lashes, there's like a little band of glue that sticks them to the tray. This like glue that sticks them to the tray is so thick and heavy that when I try like I just kind of try to do I saw Shannon so do this a while ago where you just kind of take your thumb and just press them you know to get it away from it without grabbing one side and just peeling it off and potentially ruining the shape of your lashes so I just kind of pinch and peel and you know try to be gentle mm -mm. the two layers of lashes started separating like started like peeling away from each other it literally looked like they just took two sets of lashes and glued them on top of each other like there was nothing holding them together it was just glue and so since the glue that was holding them to the tray was so strong it just like pulled apart I just like these were 10 bucks a piece and I would just rather not I would rather not so I don't like them and both styles that I got I got Vamptress and I got and I got let's see strip tees which are these um strip tees did it way worse than Vamptress I've only actually worn Vamptress I think like once but strip tees are the ones that did them super super bad so I don't know I don't like them I don't like them the next is kind of an old one so I'm just gonna kind of go through this quickly but 
I just, I decided this month that I did not like it and I was going to stop using it and find somebody to give it to. This is the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with this. Like, it's a nice scrub. It has really good ingredients. It's paraben-free, sulfate-free, cruelty-free, vegan, like, synthetic fragrance-free. It's um, non-cosmogenic, cosmogenic, cosmogenic. Clog your pores. It's great. But this is nasty. <laughs> like, the color of it is the color of baby diarrhea, which again, I can get best, but the texture, it feels like sand, which sounds nice, but it sounds, or it feels like you just stuck your hand in a lake and picked up the sand from the bottom because it's really gritty, but there's also like bigger chunks in it. Like, <laughs> it's so nasty and it smells like lake water. It smells so horrible like it is a really really nice facial scrub it's really gentle like I said it does feel like sand so it's a really really fine grittiness but I cannot get past the texture and the smell like it literally smells and feels like you are using sand from a lake to like scrub and I'm not talking like a nice lake I'm talking like a nasty ass lake like gross lake water I just, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. It's so, it's so nasty. I just, mm -mm, no, no thank you. Okay, these next two products are going to be probably a bummer for a lot of you guys if you guys have been, like, excited to try these, which I was, but let's just, let's just rip the band-aid off. Wet n' Wild new highlighters. These are the limited edition geometric highlighting powders. These have been all over social media. I found mine finally at Walgreens. I picked up two. The third one was just kind of a bronzy one, which I'm not too into, like, shimmery bronzers. Um, I have Where the Dreamers Go, which is like this really cool pastel one, and then Desert Explorations, which is like an awesome like rosy toned one. These have no pigment. These are so chalky and dry and like it just, it does not work. Even, I, I don't even think I can show you. Like, meh. Like, can you see that, like, tiny, tiny little bit of something? It's just not very good. I'll swatch the other one for you, and I'm swatching super heavily. And, like, it looks pretty nice, and then... I don't know, it's just not that great at all. Like, it's just so subtle. So, this one, I think, is worse. Um, I think this one you could use if you wanted kind of, like a glow from within sort of thing. You could probably set your face with this because it's so like not even, like there it is right there. Like it's not even there. So I just don't like them. I'm really sad because they're gorgeous looking, but I just wish, I just, they just suck. That's it. They just don't, they don't show up. So super bummer, but what can you do? The next is another thing that has been so hyped up. It's been all over beauty social media late, lately, and I just really, really don't like them, and it makes me sad because I want to so bad. These are the NYX Lip Lingerie. I snapped that I got these. I got three shades. I got the shade Honeymoon, which is like a deep kind of brown, like cool tone brown. I got the shade Embellishment, which is gorgeous. It's like a really, really soft, super cool toned mauve. And then I got the shade Corset, which is a very kind of cool toned nude. These just aren't good liquid lipsticks. That's that's really it. They aren't horrible. Like, you can make them work, but they just aren't good. Like, that's, that's it. The, like, pigmentation when you first kind of swatch them is pretty dang good. Um, I'll swatch them for you guys. This one is Honeymoon. That first one was Corset. They're super, super moussey, super, super lightweight. And this one's Embellishment. But my problem with these is that you guys know I have like constantly dry lips. I mean, you see it every time when I'm not wearing makeup. You guys see my lips, they're always chapped, always dry. I'm really bad about drinking water. I know it's bad. I know I need to drink more water. I'm trying, but my lips are always really chapped. But I have never had a liquid lipstick like cling to my dry patches. Like, you guys know I wear liquid lipstick all the time. I'm wearing one right now. And like, this is the first line of liquid lipsticks that has clung to my dry patches. And these you really have to kind of like fiddle with to get it right. So with one pass it's streaky and it's patchy 
and then you don't want to pat your lips together you just kind of want to like do this and just like let it dry and then you do another layer and sometimes you have to do a third layer I don't know they just aren't they just aren't that good they, they're really lightweight but I think that's their problem is that they don't have much like to them I don't know I just really really didn't like these I love the color and the color range it's amazing the packaging is amazing like lip lingerie yes but no 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 okay and then last thing and then I promise I'll stop being a negative Nancy these are the yes to blemish clearing wipes these are just makeup remover wipes and these and like makeup wipes and deodorant have been the hardest things for me to try to replace in something that I can find at a store I'm gonna have to just suck it up and go online but I have tried now I think I've tried every single one of the yes to the yes to blueberries yes to carrots yes to cucumbers and now yes to um, tomatoes. <laughs> so weird. Um, the yes to blueberries ones are good. The yes to cucumber ones stung my face so bad and I don't have sensitive skin. Um, and these ones stung my face and they literally do not remove makeup. They don't. Like, it removes like face makeup, but once I get to my eye makeup, it just. Have you ever had it where it just spreads your black? eyeliner around like I was literally last night I was taking my makeup off with these and I went like this and there was like streaks of black and then I like went like this in circular motions to try to rub it and it didn't move like it did not go anywhere and I was just like oh they're like what is the point of a makeup remover wipe that doesn't remove your makeup I've gone through so many different types of makeup wipes and I cannot find a good one so if you guys know like if you have a holy grail way to take off your take off your makeup that is cruelty free and relatively easily accessible please tell me because I'm going crazy here okay that is it for me being a negative Nancy now let's get on to the products that I have been loving through the month of February first I'm cheating because I've literally had these for less than a week but they are fucking bomb they are so 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 good if you guys follow me on snapchat you will see that I went to Walgreens and picked up two of the new Jordana sweet cream matte lip colors I'm wearing one on my lips right now I'm wearing the color tiramisu and I will say that these look darker this one not so much with the other one they look a lot darker on your lips than they do in the tube so just keep that in mind um, and then I got the color creme brulee, which looks like a relatively light, like, nude. Um, once it's on your lips and once it dries, it's kind of a darker pinky nude. It's super, super pretty. Not a color that I would normally go for. Like, I thought it was going to be much more kind of brown nude, but it's a lot more pink, but it's still gorgeous. Okay, first of all, these smell like cupcakes. They smell like vanilla cupcakes. Cupcakes. Do you guys remember the like little lip smackers lip balm? I had one in like vanilla frosting and this literally smells identical. I love like sweet frosting buttercream vanilla smells and they it, this smells so strongly of it. Not like too strongly. It does kind of go away as the lipstick dries. It smells fantastic. They're so pigmented and opaque, but they feel like nothing on your lips. How I described them in my Snapchat is that these feel like the ColourPop formula. If the ColourPop formula, the like OG ColourPop formula was more comfortable because these don't feel nearly as drying as the ColourPop ones do. The, these are just as lightweight and feel like nothing on your lips just like the ColourPop ones. These ones are also $4.99. You can find them in Walgreens and I just think they're so, 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 so good. These are the only two kind of like nude or like natural, well not natural, but like neutral colors. The rest of them are pretty. They have like reds and pinks and purples and an orange, I think. So the rest of them are pretty bold. So I just picked up the new ones, but I want the bold ones now because they're perfect. I love them so far reeking much. I cannot even. Okay, and then the next product is I have a random hair care product to talk about. This is the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Black Vanilla Black Vanilla Moisture and Shine Hair Smoothie. It says it's for dry, dull, and brittle hair. This is another product that smells so good. It's kind of like a softer, more natural vanilla smell. It's so, so, so yummy. But this is a kind of leave-in product. You put it in through your hair, you leave it in for three minutes, and then you rinse it out, and you do your, like, your normal shampoo and conditioner routine. Well, you do your shampoo and conditioner routine 
before that. But I have been not really using conditioner because my I've been using a Lush shampoo bar and the Lush shampoo bar makes my hair soft enough to where I don't really need a conditioner. But the ends of my hair have been so freaking dry. I always get to this point where I'm growing out my hair and once it gets like right past my boobs, it the ends of my hair just fry. Like I hardly straighten my hair. I hardly do like like process it. I mean I dye it a lot but not that much. And the ends of my hair always get really really dry and I don't want to cut them because I'll have to cut like two inches off and then it just cycles. I cut the two inches off it grows back and then I have to cut it off again. Like I just don't like it so I like prolonging haircuts as much as I can. I know that's kind of bad but you all know the struggle. So I have been loving this for my hair because it really hydrates my ends and really makes them a lot more manageable, a lot more smooth. I can run my fingers through my hair again. Like, I freaking love it. And it was relatively inexp inexpensive. I think it was around like 10 or $12. So yeah, and you can find this at Target. You can find it at like Walgreens and Rite Aid. So really, really been liking that. Okay, more makeup products. So I finally got my hands on the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, the OG Contour Palette, and I have been loving it. Like, I finally see what all the fuss is about. It's fan-freaking-tastic. I will say that this banana shade is, like, almost, 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 almost too dark for me. So what I will do is I'll take a smaller brush and just put the yellow right, like, concentrated where I have blue in my under eyes, and then I'll take this kind of light, kind of pinky, peach-toned bright shade, and I will pack it on top of it, and then bring that peachy shade down in, like, the triangle area to brighten my under eyes. And that is just, it's just, it's just good. Also, this shade, um, Shadow Play, is the bronzer that I have on my face. I didn't use this contour because I used another contour because this month has been amazing for contours for me. Talk about that one in a second. Also, use this deep shade and this peachy one for eyeshadow the other day. Like, I just needed to kind of get ready quickly. And so I just threw this in as a transition shade, threw this in in my crease, and then this to deepen up my crease. And it was perfect. It was beautiful. Popped on some mascara, and it was good to go. It was so convenient. So I've been loving the Shade and Light Contour Palette. And again, more contour colors. I got the Makeup Geek contours that they came out with, and like these slay the freaking game. They are so cool. So I have both the warm and the cool porcelain one ones. Um, the cool porcelain one is in Breakup, and the warm porcelain one is in Love Triangle, and they say like warm porcelain, cool porcelain on them. When I was looking at like swatches like on YouTube, on Mar Marlena's post, and on the Makeup Geek website, I thought the porcelain ones were going to be too light for me, but no. They're like almost too dark for me. Like I have to like use a relatively light hand. They aren't really too dark for me, but like I know the light ones or fair. I think it's my camera is shut off, so I don't know where I was I was rambling and I didn't pay attention, so hopefully I don't skip over anything. But this cool porcelain one is freaking amazing. The warm porcelain one is amazing for bronzer. These are so buttery, so blendable, so pigmented. It's freaking bomb. And this cool porcelain, like, I, you guys know I used to love my NYX blush and taupe. This, like, kicked that blush way out of the water. This freaking kills it. It's the perfect undertone. It's the contour I have right now on my cheeks and then on my nose. It's just so good because it literally looks like a shadow on my skin. It is so nice. I have neutral enough skin to where I can pull off warm and cool contours, but I personally like cooler tones I think cooler tones are more flattering on my skin, but this you can really kind of build up and it won't look muddy and it won't look ashy, at least on my skin. If you're darker than me, if you're like more tan, definitely pick a warmer contour or a darker cool tone contour because this will probably look like dirt on your face, but this just looks so good. I cannot talk about how good these are. They're so, they're literally like giant eyeshadow pans. They're so pigmented and so blendable. I love them so much. So like as much as I've been loving the, sh the shade and light palette, for contouring I have been using these and for like setting my under eyes I've been using these. I wish Makeup Geek would come out with highlighting powders and like create a giant banana powder because you know it would be freaking bomb. I cannot describe how much I love these but these have been like probably my favorite product of the freaking month. 
so good. Okay, guys, and then I have two eyeshadows that I have been loving. The, they're both by Makeup Geek. The first one is called Cupcake, and it's a really, really pretty kind of dusty rose color. That's pretty much like perfectly how it describes it and I first like discovered this when I was doing my like Valentine's Day look which which you'll see if you follow me on Instagram it's kitty snack just like how it's spelled here um but this is just such a pretty color I've been loving like pinks and rose tones on my eyes I think it kind of makes me look like sick and dead and I kind of am into it when I want that kind of like grungy look and this color I can just take on like my M433 and just kind of dust it back and forth in my outer corner and then into the crease and then maybe deepen it up a little bit with like a brown to kind of bring some warmth back in and it is beautiful I have been obsessed with this color I love it so much and then I know I mentioned this eyeshadow in some video or another but I can't exactly remember but this is Makeup Geeks Mirage and this is my favorite eyeshadow of all time like this is my favorite eyeshadow ever it's so good it is so freaking good it is the creamiest butteriest like smoothest eyeshadow ever it's just a kind of yellowy toned highlight shade and it is so buttery and so soft and so blendable like look at that oh and it's kind of a demi matte kind of like a satin finish um, I saw Amy Macedo say that this was a dupe for the banana shade in the Cap on D palette and I totally 100% believe it you could set your under eyes with this if you were a little bit darker than me I personally wouldn't because it's a little too yellow for me but it is so beautiful it's so pigmented I cannot even like I will take this on a super precise brush to clean up my brows like how some people use concealer Okay, so my last clip cut out, and I had to, like, run to a meeting because I realized I was going to be late for said meeting, so I hope I was able to, like, finish my statement. I'm filming, like, this part, like, four hours after I just filmed that part. Anyways, random. So, the very last thing that I want to talk about real quick is this NYX, or not NYX, Wet n Wild Come Correct Concealer. Um, I have mine in the shade Fair, and this stuff is kind of hard to find. I find it at Walgreens at the very, very bottom of the display next to the new um, BB creams. Looks like it's old, but I think it's new because on the packaging, it has the little cruelty-free bunny right in the front and center, like all of their new packaging does. So, I think that it's new. Kind of hard to find, but if you can find it, pick it up. It is amazing. I believe it is like $5. It is super, super thick in consistency. Like, I have to squeeze pretty hard to get it out, and like, it's really, really, really thick and creamy. Um, it reminds me a lot of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, but not as sticky and uncomfortable on the under eyes. The coverage is freaking amazing and like you feel it and it's super super like thick and creamy but the more that you kind of buff it into the skin the more it kind of sets down which is nice you do have to set this immediately with powder otherwise it can crease but it's still just so freaking good for a four dollar concealer I'm absolutely obsessed with this I've been using this like just in the super super hollow dark spots on my under eyes and it brightens them up like nobody's business it's amazing. So anyways guys, that is my kind of weird favorites and hate it sort of situation for a favorites video. I hope you guys liked it and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and I hope nobody got butt hurt about me saying I don't like these things. If you like any of the things that I said that I don't like, let me know why you love it. I just, you know, we could just have different opinions. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!